So for today, we're going to be looking at the Solar 3.0 video. Uh, we're going to, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll have it in the description below, but we're not going to be looking at the video necessarily. We're going to be looking at what the video actually had. So first and foremost, we're going to be introducing some new things. Restoration, you regenerate health and shields over time, cannot be interrupted by taking damage. This is what you would think of for like the Solar Super for Warlocks, Middle Tree specifically, the healing one. Uh, that's what I imagine basically. It doesn't matter if you're getting shot, you're still going to get healed over time. Uh, cure is a new one. You are healed in a burst of mending solar light. So for example, we see the war we see the hunter throw a healing grenade and in my head that's what cure is. You get a burst of healing. I don't know if you can get uh shield from it. It'd be really cool, but it doesn't really mention it, so I highly doubt it. Uh which Brings me to the next point. We also have healing grenades. So warlocks, you guys don't have to uh, charge up your grenade. Actually, I shouldn't say that. We don't know about the about the all of the aspects yet, so you might never know. But even with that said, the aspect that we did see, the one that it would do that, it didn't have the charge your grenade thing. So we'll get to that when we get to that. First and foremost, we're going to be going through Warlock, Hunter, and Titan just because that's how I wrote everything down. So for the Warlock, they are best at burning and healing, and their first aspect is Touch of Flame. Healing Grenade improves strength of cure and restoration. Solar Grenades has increased duration and emits blobs of lava. Firebolt increases tar target search radius and maximum target count. And Fusion explodes twice this one's pretty wild to me because the fusion explodes twice is kind of wild because if that's the case it might be a one shot in pvp the fusion grenade is not that hard to use it's very user friendly and a specific chest piece that the warlocks have they get two of them so that's pretty foul uh the fireball increased target search radius and maximum target count may be interesting depending on how the damage is uh, you might be able to just kill a group of enemies, maybe, we'll see. The solar grenade has increased duration and emits blobs of lava. That one kind of worries me, just because of the sheer fact that the blobs of lava could probably be really bad, especially for uh, area control. Like You can just throw a grenade down in a point and just there's blobs of lava, you kind of don't want to get hit by that. And then the healing grenades improve strength and cure of cure and restoration is pretty cool as well. Uh, their new melee is called Incinerator Snap. Four solar wisps used for AoE, but can also be used for single target that will chain react on each other. This is really cool. It's very, very warlocky, which is probably why a lot of people are losing their shit over it. Which I can get. It's really cool. I can't wait for my warlock to use it. Uh, but these are all the things we saw for the warlock obviously there's little things here and there that i that i did pick up on but i just wanted to get the main points out the new melee the the one aspect that we saw because that warlocks we only saw one for the hunter and titans we actually do see two which speaking of which let's just get into the hunter for the hunter we have on your mark precision final blows grants you and nearby allies increase weapon handling and reload speed for a short duration stacks three times Cool thing is activating your class ability gives you three stacks immediately. That's really cool. Uh, I kind of wish precision final blows like the actual on your mark ability. With, that's what it's called. I kind of wish it did more than just weapon like weapon handling and reload speed. Like I just don't know if I'm going to be using this a lot, if any, because like, eh, I can't. I I hope the other aspects are better because. I just have never been a big fan of this uh, aspect, even even now before like the solar changes. Uh, knock them down. That's the other one. Your solar supers are enhanced. Deadshot has increased duration. Marksman has increased resistance and duration. And Blade Barrage has more projectiles. While Radiant final blows with your equipped throwing knife fully refunds melee energy. So unfortunately, hunters, we kind of did get a nerf here. You have to be radiant in order for your melees to regenerate your energy. I don't know how I feel about this. I, on the one hand, like I get it. It's probably for like balance pur purposes, but at the same time, you had to hit your shot with the with the melee. It wasn't as busted as it was before. Now you actually had to like aim at the head or like like follow where the enemy was going. I don't know. For me, I'm just kind of like whatever. I don't even care at this point. Uh, but we did gain 
resistance for marksman so for me that's a dub easily that's a dub i am annoyed by the knife thing but at the same time the fact that marksman is getting resistance and duration for this uh for this aspect is super dope i i can't really complain uh the increased duration for dead shots fine i guess like whatever uh it just gives me more time to miss that shot and then blade barrage has more projectiles hopefully blade barrage they buffed it because for me blade barrage has always been kind of doo-doo especially for like the changes that they gave gave it so hopefully the chain they with the new solar 3.0 they made blade barrage actually good uh, as for their new thing, it's the grenade apparently. Gunpowder gamble, two duct taped <laughs> trip mines that can be shot more easily in the air can also be stuck on enemies or walls. Uh, I know the dev says three grenades, it's actually two. It's pretty cool. It is very huntery, but I can't. I, I do apologize if this is gonna sound whiny, but it just I just can't help but feel like the like I look at the Titans new ability and I look at mine and I'm like, cool. Like at least I can t duct tape two grenades together. That dude, when, when you get to the Titans, you'll see why I say this, but uh, last but not least, hunters can buff uh, allies with a new animation. I'll show it right now. It's really cool. I actually do really like it. I wonder what the actual buff is it is gonna be. I know they say weapon, weapon damage. So is it like, is it worth is it worth doing or is it just kind of like whatever because if it's like five percent even ten percent it's not going to be worth it if it's like 15 percent that's pretty dope obviously there's gonna have to be a cooldown because at other like if there is no cooldown then we can just pop it all the time but i do like that they're leaning more towards hunters being uh more support for the solar changes i do appreciate that but i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see for the titans we have roaring flames so solar abilities and ignition final blows increase da uh, damage stacks up to three times it's the one from middle tree we already know what it does it's pretty cool i guess and soul invictus i literally just wrote sunspots because that's all it really does uh, i'll have the two of them up on the screen right now if you want to read what they do but it's essentially the abilities you already have um that's it the big change that i really want to talk about is consecration it's a ba it's a slide melee uppercut it's so cool you basically slide and your initial slide animation when you activate your melee you throw out three waves of solar uh solar like a solar wave three like just three of them it's super cool and then you go up in the air then you have the option of slamming down and either it's an aoe or there's more solar like wells that come out of you either way this melee is super fucking cool and i can't i can't help but feel a little jealous because i look at my arc slide melee for hunters middle tree middle tree arc and i just can't help but feel like man like i really i really want to just get really mad about it but at the same time i can't really be too mad about it because it's one of those like middle tree arc or yeah middle tree arc hunter melee walked so that the titan one can fucking run and d just slam everything so it's just a victim of at the time that was what they could do and even uh, the devs even said in consecration that oh we didn't know if we could do this or not so i want to be mad about it but at the same time i'm gonna be fucking playing titan either way so i'm i don't know why i would be mad about it i i guess it's just more so like i wish the hunter got something cool like that instead of like i don't know to me like it's just funny that the titans get all this cool like like magical shit same with the warlocks and then the hunters are like i duct tape two grenades together like it's very huntry don't get me wrong but it's just very like can i not can i not have magic bro like please give me magical stuff please <laughs> uh again i don't want to complain i like all of these changes uh more so the warlock and hunt titan stuff i think their stuff is so fucking cool the hunter stuff is cool as well but very underwhelming like the on your mark is just kind of like yeah that's what we've always had they didn't even buff it the knock them down is the only one that really has me interested and even then it's still a nerf to our melee stuff uh the gunpowder gamble is actually really cool very in point with what what hunters would do we would definitely duct tape a grenade if you want to get bigger damage uh 
but compared to like concentration where you slide throw three waves of solar and then slam back down for aoe f damage and then inc incinerator snap where it's four solar wisps used for aoe and then you can actually uh single target as well i don't know just like here i am with my hunter with my knife that's all I'm that's all my head goes to but again I'm really excited to play with my Titan uh, more so with my warlock because they're gonna be healing like just behemoths and then hunter I'm really I'm really excited to see what the idea of hunters support would look like so let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media all these things are in the description below I thank you all for coming up to this point and I'll see you guys later